Now I say we turn it on. Power it on, hold down, bang, boom, it's on. And we're gonna go ahead and open up this package here that came with the F7 Mini, and it looks like there's some gear included in this as well. So this is a nice little bag to kind of keep all your accessories and the light in if you need and it does come with this little clip on the back so we can hang it on to something which is nice and convenient. Let's see what actually comes in here. Okay, so we do have a charging cable. This is good always to have a USB to Type-C charging cable. It looks like we have this little magic arm which it looks like I already have one, but this one's actually pretty good because it has a hot shoot mount here at the bottom. I actually don't have one like this. Usually the ones that I have just have quarter inch threads on either side, but in this case it looks like we have a hot shoot mount here at the bottom of it and we can tighten it down and then adjust the angle. So that's cool, the fact that it comes with it. And it also does come with these two little rubber pieces right here. It does have this little white one that looks like it's going to act as a soft box and this little honeycomb grid here. And we can kind of direct the light a little bit more specific area. These are fantastic that it's included. We have the quarter inch thread here at the bottom as well. Okay, so for me to successfully do this, I need to remove the quarter inch thread mount here at the bottom. Which is, which is preventing me from installing this. Okay, so it looks like I managed to get this little rubber soft box right here installed on the light. It fits pretty good considering. Let's go ahead and remove the soft box. And again, I'm gonna have to unscrew this part. So let's go ahead and install the little honeycomb grid right on top of the light. So the honeycomb grid is just gonna help the light project more in a direct area versus it kind of being more spread out on an angle. This feels perfectly fit. So I like this little honeycomb grid. It kind of actually acts as a protector for the light as well in case you drop it. I say we go ahead and look at the owner's manual so we have a better idea on how the light works. A parameter selection and adjustment dial. So that is the little toggle switch here at the top. So let's have a closer look at the side of the unit here. So again, we do have the USB Type-C charging port right here that's going to allow us to charge the unit. And we do have the power on and off button. To power it on, you just hold it down for a couple of seconds and to turn it off, same thing, just hold it down for a couple of seconds. But other than that, this is actually going to be going through, I'm gonna call it your menu option. When you press this button, it's gonna take you through the different menu options. And then from there, once you're in the menu that you want, which you can see here on the display, this dial right here, once you've found your menu options, you're going to dial it up or down to scroll through that menu. And then you can press down on the same dial to select what you're selecting throughout that menu. So for an example of that, I'm gonna be pressing this red button right here at the side, which is going to take me through my menu. So let's have a look. Right now we have HSI option. We have RGB option, we have LEE option, we have ROSCO, ROSCO option, and this is the ID number of the unit asking me to reset the unit, and here it takes me back to CCT, which is going to allow me to adjust the spectrum, the Kelvin, and for an example, if I want to adjust the spectrum, I'm going to be adjusting it with the dial here. So let's adjust it with the dial here by just toggling it up. I can hold the dial upwards to go in to go really fast and let's say if I'm happy with that I can just select it take me over to the next option which is over here which is the brightness so if now that I want to control the brightness I'm just going to toggle it up if I want to toggle it down I just go down and if I just leave it alone it's going to go ahead and take it back to its main menu all these different kind of presets we have here so for an example we got police car ambulance fire truck Lightning, Lightning 2, HSI Demo, HSI Demo Fast, TV Screen, we got like a candle, Paparazzi, we got a strobe effect, high and low beam bulb, double flash, red flash, green flash, blue flash, party 1, party 2, breathing white, RGB strobe. Let's go ahead and press the menu button here at the side. If we want to go through the different scenes, we're just going to use the dial to go up and down. So that one looked pretty cool, this little flash. We got some other ones to go through candle light. So here's a candle light. Let's adjust, see this next option here. So it says zero. Let's go ahead and adjust that to maybe, I don't know, faster to maybe like 10. And what that looks like it's doing is increasing the flicker of the candle and the 
percentage of brightness is at 100%. So if it goes all the way down to 2500 Kelvin, so here's the brightness all the way at 100%. Wow, that's pretty bright. Let's go ahead and change the Kelvin. Oh, and it goes up in increments of 50, so it's very specific. That's nice. Let's see how high we can go up to. All the way up to 9000K. Wow. 2500 to 9000k it looks like we do have a bluetooth option right here wow so we're going to be able to actually control this light with an app here on our phone either ios or android As you can see right after the id number we have the reset option right here and this reset is actually resetting the bluetooth it's not resetting the unit so if you're trying to use this with the app on your phone and you are using it via the bluetooth if you want to do a reset with the bluetooth you're going to have to go to the reset option scroll up and just go ahead and select yes okay so i just downloaded the app so the app was free and it looks like it's trying to connect to the device so i need to go ahead and power it on so there it is it's powered on right now let's see searching for device okay so i just got the app going it looks like it's actually working and connected so that's working out pretty good so right now we're in the color tab next we have the cct tab which is going to allow us to control the color spectrum and it looks like this is the brightness right over here and we have the option to add some green into it or some red into it to me I think we can just probably pick these presets right over here which is nice and convenient and adjust the brightness so I can see me using this CCT page quite often here we have the scene which are the pre-built special effects we got lightning we got candle, so again we were looking at candle earlier, high and low beam bulb, the different settings. So obviously you got to play around with this. We got police car, oh this is the speed of the flash. So notice at the lower number here we got negative 5, we are going much slower. And then if we bring it up to plus 5 the flash is much faster. We got fire truck as well, breathing white. I was curious to see what that one was, oh that looks super cool. That's what breathing white is. Ambulance, red flash, party, RGB strobe. We can turn down how fast the strobe is. We can go to music. So supposedly the light will flash to our music. So I'm going to say this is super convenient, guys. So this is a cool feature right here, which is going to basically allow us to point this at any color. And the light is going to go and turn that color. What else can I take a picture of? Let's take a picture of... That white kind of color. Boom. It turned that white color. Let's take a picture of this reddy color. Reddy orangey color. Let's see if it can pick up this, this crazy reflective blue. Yep. Sure did. So it looks like we're going to be able to in the future add multiple lights together. Or maybe we can currently do that right now. But only have one light unfortunately. I can simply change it to over here, any color I want. We got RGB, we can do just red, nice, this is convenient, just green. What colors guys do you want this, just blue? Nice. We got Lee, so we got some like gel filters that we can kind of mimic the color on as well. So let's go ahead and maybe turn on a red gel filter, maybe an orange kind of gel filter. Let's turn up the brightness a bit. Let's go to a nice blue one. So these are the Lee kind of gel filters that we might need to basically mimic. And we also got the Roscoe ones that are right here that we can also mimic these uh, filter gels as well. So that is super cool and convenient and we can adjust the brightness and we can turn that on or off as we need so this app seems super powerful it has lots of options over here non-stop i need to basically just take a breather and maybe power off this light look at that control we have right here at our fingertips very fascinating guys very impressed with this light i feel like i want a nice little ready color let's adjust the saturation what is it set new value 100 enter bang now we got lots of saturation baby just the way i like it so the f7 mini does operate with internal batteries and it shows over here on our display on the right hand side that we are looking at about 50 percent battery life right now so a few tests that i like to do once this has completely drained the battery i like to charge it and see how long it takes to charge the batteries 
and I'll also like to see how long the internal battery of this light actually works for. It does say in the menu that we're going to be able to use this light for approximately 90 minutes and that's with it at I believe 5600 Kelvin and at 100%. It does operate on volts 5 volts 2 amps to 5 volts 3 amps and the battery is 3.7 volts at 2600 milliamps. The wattage is 5 watts. So that's another cool feature right there that we're able to actually charge the F7 mini by plugging it into the wall as we would normally do but even better yet we can actually power it via USB power bank so that's going to allow us to use this light for longer periods of time and in this case being able to power it off my V-mount battery or a USB power bank is a great feature and option to have with this F7 mini. The weight of this F7 Mini is 132 grams, so that is a nice feature that is so nice and compact, you can literally put it in your pocket. The beam angle is 5600 Kelvin at 58 degrees. We do have 24 LED pieces in here, so that's good to know. Uh, dimming from 0 to 100%. The dimension is 100 by 71 by 18 millimeters. CRI is 96. So you can see that I mounted the F7 Mini on this small rig cheese plate and along with this Holly Land little magic arm here that we can adjust to kind of any angle that we would like. So I'm just going to position it over here off to the side. Another cool feature about the F7 Mini are the magnets here which are considered a mounting option in my opinion. So these magnets are going to allow me to mount this light here and anywhere that is magnetic. So I just started searching around me quickly around here in the studio and right away I was able to find this little allen key from my small rig handle and sure enough boom it sticks right onto the back there so these two little shiny silver parts are the magnets this black area right here is not magnetic so you can see that it is pretty strong just by looking at it just by that where else can I mount this F7 mini on around my studio here so I try to apply it to my tripod and unfortunately it did not stick to my tripod I continued to go around my house and find other areas that I can mount this F7 mini and one very convenient area that I thought is going to be useful is the corner bead of the drywall so inside my house the drywall corner bead there is metal behind the drywall on the outside corner so not an inside corner you want an outside corner so the outside corner has a metal corner bead there if your house was made with it and there is going to be a piece of metal in there that's going to allow these magnets to magnetize right to the corner bead and you're gonna be able to mount this light here so that is something that I would take advantage of these magnets here at the back of the F7 mini that's going to kind of really allow us to mount this light almost anywhere quickly for my final thoughts of this light if you could not tell already I'm very impressed with this light it has a bunch of features within the menu a bunch of built-in presets along with the app seems very powerful thought of cool design overall I'm impressed I'm interested to purchase probably a few more of these lights and be able to control them easily with the mobile app right there on my phone so overall guys I appreciate you guys tuning in thank you very much for watching if you guys have any comments questions concerns let me know down in the comment section down below and we'll check you guys on the next video.